What's up everybody? Welcome back to Locked Up 365. If you're new to my channel and you like jail related content, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you can be notified as soon as the video touches down. Today I'm going to be talking about jail friends. Now on this topic, when you're in jail, yes, jail friends are good to have. You know, I had thousands of them when I was incarcerated. They are a lot of good people that are locked up. And a lot of them, you wouldn't even think that their charge actually matched the person. Because I've seen so many people that are just down to earth, just cool, nice as can be, would give you the shirt off their back, but they're in there for crimes that just don't match them, like who you think they are as a person. But you don't know what that person was doing on the outside. You don't know if they're like a thief a human trafficker or what like you don't know drug runner like you don't know what they are even in my own situation you know I was a thief a drug addict I was everything underneath the sun as long as I could get my fix I didn't care but when I was in jail I was a completely different person because I was sober so even though you think you might know somebody in jail you could be locked up with them for years you act a lot different in jail than you do out on the street. Now, there are some people that they're not crap on the street, but go in jail and they create this whole new identity because that's just what people do. They're like, oh, I can be anything I want in here. So you really don't know people as well as you think you do. Now, a few years back, there was a couple guys that had known each other from jail and the one guy called the other dude, and I guess he was supposed to be like some kind of dealer, and they knew he wasn't, you know, like not big time, you know, like he might have been slinging dime bags or something. But anyway, they got the guy, and they were telling him that they wanted to make a big purchase, and they wanted the dude's name and number and where he lived, and the guy wouldn't give it to him. So they started beating him up. And I guess one thing led to another, the guy ends up dead. And they ended up putting him in like five different garbage cans all around the city. And that was local. Like I'm ten minutes, five minutes away from some of the garbage cans that they put dude in. So you really don't know people. And even if you do know somebody, if they get out and they get in a bad situation or if they get strung out you don't know what they're capable of you know you're not their their real friend their family when you're in jail yeah like you know you find somebody that you can connect with that's on your same level i did you know what i mean like and if that person got out then i would move on to the next person you know what i mean like or just me myself i was cool with everybody so that is one thing about jail, you have many options. So if one person gets out, you got thousands of other people that that you might be able to, you know, play poker with, eat lunch with. Now as far as like say your roommate or bunkie, however the cell is set up, I was never actually really close with any of my bunkies. Not on like where I would talk to them and we would go to wreck and walk laps and talk and eat chow together like I never had that like in a bunkie like I just never had the right one I guess but you know you you're gonna connect with somebody somebody that's just like you you all think alike y'all like the same jokes y'all like doing the same thing but everybody does they act different in jail than they do in the street because it's just it's a whole different beast in there and you got to think that a lot of people are very vulnerable when they're in jail. If they don't get money because they've done messed over their family or their family just don't have money, then they're going to try to buddy up to somebody that has money. So you really got to watch it because a lot of people will just try to use you if you get like $100 every week of commissary. A lot of people will try to just be your friend and talk to you just so you'll let them in on a meal. And there's a lot of naive people. They think, oh, well, I'm breaking bread with this dude every night. We're friends. Like, nah, you ain't friends. That dude will beat you up and take your whole commissary sack. Like, he don't care nothing about you. 
But there are cases of where I've known that people have met their best friend in jail. Like, you know, it just depends on the person, depends on the circumstance. Me, personally, I don't trust, like, I don't trust anybody. So, I'm not going to meet somebody in jail and then bring them around my family, my kids. Like, I'm just not that type of person. I'm real private. And my personal life is my personal life. Who I was in jail, who I was as an addict, I left all that behind me when I walked out of jail that day. So, a lot of people view it different. You know, they want to connect, go out to bars, you know, go chase women together, or women chasing dudes, whatever. You know, whatever the situation, that's fine. Like, I ain't hating on nobody. Just me, personally, I'm, I'm just not that type of person. Like, I'll message people still to this day. Like, if they message me, or I might even shoot it out. Like, hey, man, you still alive? How, what are you doing? You doing good? And just from being in jail in general, like, you look at people different. Like, you look at their movements, like how they're talking, and you just really learn how to, like, read people in jail. So you kind of know if they're real or fake, but they might be real in jail, but then when they get out, like I said, like something, drugs or money get involved and it turns people into something else. You know, that might not even be the same person that you thought you knew. It's also your frame of mind because like if you're an addict on the street, then you get locked up, you go through the withdrawals. You're definitely not the same person that you was on the street. Like in my own case... I didn't care about nothing or nobody when I was out running and gunning, but when I was locked up, like, I actually cared about people, you know, like, I cared if these guys got out to go see their families, you know, like, I'd get all sentimental, you know, like them leaving, but if you would have caught me two years prior, I would, I didn't care at all. I didn't give a crap about nobody, only about myself and what somebody else could do for me. But then once, you know, I sobered up and everything else, then I cared about what I could do for other people. But not everybody is like that. So jail friends can be a good thing and it could be a bad thing. It can get you in a lot of trouble. It could drag you back into your old lifestyle or you could end up six feet under. Or it could work out and you could be, he could be your best man at your wedding. You know, like each situation is different. So, you know, you have to use your best judge of character. Maybe I'm just crazy and I just don't trust anybody. If anybody's had any prior experiences, I would like to hear about it. Like, have you met your best friend being incarcerated and you all see each other on a daily basis or weekly basis where you all hang out? Let me know. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or if you'd like to check out Locked Up 365 merchandise, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. The merchandise will be under Teespring. Thanks for watching Locked Up 365.